Welcome back to the City of Spiders, or high above it. I have been uh, giving some consideration here at this point in the overarching story of our city. It may be time to make some uh, hard decisions about an additional highway. Or an additional highway access point of some kind, at least. I don't know if we can afford another square here. Let's check. Looks like one more is available. So we could have something... Uh, on this side of the river, with highway access there. Or we could continue to build up along the highway here. I'm kind of thinking along that side of the river makes sense. I'm just trying to think if we're going to need to, at some point, kind of blow through some of these roundabouts with just a regular old straightaway. <laughs> we may need to at some point. We haven't really been having any traffic issues yet. We're not that big a city still. So we can keep rolling with the punches for a while, but I know I've made more mistakes than I can count on my, uh, my layout so far. So we'll keep trying to fix it up wherever we can. However, my main promise for this uh, session is to try to get us access to this railroad here so that we can uh, hopefully export some of our industrial lumber directly to the railroad rather than having to run it out to the highway. So less traffic for us. I was thinking that maybe along this back road would be a good spot for it. But it's weird, because all of these are like one-ways. So basically, here, at this intersection, is where we would need... <laughs> the railroad access roadway to begin. And I'm, I don't really like that. I'm thinking it would probably be easier just to continue this four lane all the way up to the railroad station. And then we'll rework our one-way roads down here. I think that's going to end up being easier. So, let's hope that we don't have to break anything except this road. We'll keep it paused for just a second while we're doing this, though. And I guess it's just a regular four-lane. We'll just keep that going for now. Take it to maybe here, and we'll see if we need to put a curve in it. It'd probably be easier just to have local roads leading to it rather than making it curved. I don't think we'll worry about that. So, that being the case, let me take a bit more out. And let's go decorative here for whatever reason. Freeform. I guess uh, we can place the actual railroad station into it, and that'll tell us where the road needs to be. That might be easier than trying to fit the road in first. So let's jump to transport. We'll jump to trains. And... I guess it does have to be a cargo train, doesn't it? Rather than like a passenger train station. That's not really what we want. So a cargo train terminal. Has to be placed roadside, okay. So, my my big plan will not work. I thought we could fit it in on the railroad track and then work out the road, but that's alright. So we just need it to basically be facing that way. We need it to be straight. So let's try this. I'll run that into a sort of dead end there. I'm not sure how far it needs to be. Like, a little bit of space between it might be perfect. I think it is on the other side. Let me try this way, even. 
give us a couple of options. I just don't want it to be so curved that it messes up our grid. We'll try that. All right. So now we should be able to, as you can see, just delete a little bit of that track and sync it right up there. I think that should work just fine. It won't be necessarily ideal. We could put it here, and then it's at, like, almost the exact right angle. So let's get rid of these. So, we're now connected up, I think. <laughs> Hello and welcome, yes. It said I was streaming Red Dead Redemption 2. I was just previously. It must be hanging on to the wrong entry. But welcome. This is not Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that little hitch in it there. There's like a little bit of a curve in it. Isn't gonna slow the trains down too much. I don't think it will. This should give us direct access. I don't think we need to do anything else to like start the industry using it. We basically just need to make sure that our all of our traffic can get up there. So I'm thinking at this point we could just sort of remove the one ways. See if we can take this back to just a regular industrial road. Small industrial road. Alright. Shouldn't mess anything up, but we'll now just allow them to go any old which way. Since they have the option to deliver to the cargo train station now, I'm hoping that will limit our traffic to the extent that we don't really need to direct them as much here. And I'm not even sure if we want to keep these roads. I might just delete those. We will, however, keep our little uh, elevated highway access just in case. And I guess that can continue to be one way. So let me switch that back here. One second. I think that's all of them. Okay, that's good. good now. And switching this back to one way. I think that should be fine, so they don't really need our little uh, slip road anymore, necessarily. Garbage trucks and the industrial traffic can just choose to come right back onto the collector, which is what we were previously disallowing. And they can go directly to the cargo train station from said collector. I'm hoping that road isn't, like, too small. It should be fine for them. We could even put some commercial stuff out here, too. I'm guessing this will need water and power. Though I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> it must. I'm entirely sure. That big a deal either way. Definitely needs power. All right. Let's just give it a windmill out here. That's not too expensive or too uh, 
Space. Inefficient. Whatever the word is I'm searching for. That should get us going. Alright, let's see if this works in theory. Alright, I don't really need a intersection here. Thank you. Sweet of you. Sweet of you to offer. There we go. That is... They're now doing things they've never done before, like trying to turn left here for uh, traffic that's going to the other side. That's weird. But we'll deal with it. Alright, there goes a train. Interesting. We might have just missed it there. Let's just see what the traffic starts to do. Like, he just picked up a bunch of lumber. He appears to be taking it back to the highway. So right now, it's not yet lucrative enough, or there's a problem with this. The trains can carry goods and raw materials in the city or transport them outside. Doesn't really tell you how much, if any, it has used, though, or gone through. So yeah, there may be another change we need to make there, I'm not sure. Yes, this is City Skylines, thank you. You were ahead of me there. So we are needing a little bit more residential zoning. I know we were thinking about jumping across the road here. We can definitely do that. The forest of Nonsense is growing back well. We now have our two headquarters stations, <laughs> like right next to it. Really hoping that makes a small difference. That is just a weirdly, uh, weirdly placed hill, but all right. I think we're just waiting on visitors for this, right? Yeah, it's got plenty of entertainment. We just need to get up to 2,500 visitors. So everything's coming along pretty well. I'm not sure what our next project should be after we make sure that this industrial zone is working. I still haven't seen any trucks come down this way. It's a little bit concerning that none of the traffic is thinking that that's a good option. Like, I don't know if they can't get to it. It's definitely a two-way road. They can turn around there. But not a single truck is, is going that way. Oh, there we have something. Okay, good. That's all I really need to see. <laughs> Let me just make sure. In fact, I can... select this, perhaps? Ah, not with the park tool. I can select it with this. There we are. Go for it. So, exporting forestry products. He has a 100% full cab. So it is now in the train station. Yep, a ton of people are coming in now. That's what I was hoping to see. Perfect. As you can see, all of those trucks won't be adding traffic to any of these roundabouts or to the highway at all. They're just going out and straight back to the lumber zone along our huge collector road. That is what I've wanted to see. Oh, yay. All right. So that is a huge boost to our industry. 
and means that we have uh, the ability now to expand uh, pretty much all the way up to the railroad station as forest industry here if we want to. We should continue to expand our fire protection as much as possible while we do so. We should, in fact, even get, like, another helicopter fire station over here, perhaps. Somewhere that it can get to some uh, water would be good. So, like, even over here. But that is great. That is exactly what I was hoping to see. So, there's the train. It's all loaded up with our lumber there. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> the fact that the train actually customizes itself based on what you're exporting is really cool. So you can see the lumber heading off to new locales. All right. So there is still a little bit of jamming around here. That's unfortunate. I wish there was a way just to make it so that no traffic was coming out at this intersection. This was like a entrance only. I could just force them to come up and around with a quick one way. I'm not sure if that would cause more problems or not. It's not necessarily important. So, railroad access, that's great. We still have ocean access over here, too. At some point, we're going to want to take advantage of that. It may be a good idea to have, like, a double-sided highway exit there to make that, like, a four-way four, four -way kind of highway interchange. And then we could run the other new highway this way towards the beach and that could kind of populate our beach city section. But we also have this huge collector road here now, which we could just take over the railroad tracks and keep running it on through. It would probably act as enough of a highway to get us by for a while, and my idea over here is to try not to expand it to the extent that we need that much traffic to keep it going. I just want to make like a little beach city, basically along this edge. So I kind of like that idea. Let me try to see how easy it is to get this across here. It shouldn't be that big a deal. <laughs> it's a little, uh, little low clearance. For the poor trains there. I don't think we're really going to have a better option than that. The other option is to go uh, underneath. We could do a quick tunnel. Or I guess you could even just have it be a railroad crossing. I never even consider that. I always try to make it go over. So that there doesn't have to be a railroad crossing. I thought you could take it tunnel under, but maybe you can't unless you have enough leeway to put the tunnel entrance in, so that makes sense, I guess. So probably our best option is to take it over, though I'm sorry that's so nearby them. It should still work just fine. It'll just look a little weird. Yep, trains can still go under it. <laughs> that's that bend that's so strange, too. Oh, well. Okay, we'll keep taking this train out. Let's say to about here, and I'm going to try to have a beach roundabout. Let's see here. I'm going to need to switch tools. And probably want this one down. Or even halfway. Alright. It's a 
little bit of a sloping difference there. We can even that out. And I should probably just use one of their canned uh, roundabouts. Let's do this first, though. Jump into terraforming. Smooth it on out. We just have a weird little bowl there. Let's take it about halfway between the two. Something like that should do it. Just gonna keep preserving the natural cliff edge for now as much as I can. Alright, let's try this again, and I'm just gonna use one of their roundabouts up here. Make it easy. Probably where I just made it. Nice and flat. Alright, so that makes a nice highway roundabout. It's all at the same level now. We'll run this right into it. Or I guess I could run two roads off of it. Maybe. <laughs> it's such a weird little lump there. I can pause it and redo this road so that there's more lead-up room. And I should just do that because it looks so strange. Pausing it. Sorry, industrial traffic. Let's fix this up. this across, and then 1840, and sink. There we are. Still not quite uh, symmetrical, but it's fine. Just run this over here. In fact, I may just be able to do it as a curve. That's not ideal, but there we have it. I messed those two up. They'll come back around. I'm probably also creating more intersection issues. Okay. think that's fine. So, connecting this... just going to make it a regular straight-on connection instead of making two independent ones. It's not quite right, but it'll be fine. And then along here, let's just take one straight out to give us a little playroom along the, the beach. but we don't really have much of a choice on this side. That should be just fine. Let's run a little extra water before I forget. In fact, in this uh, roundabout here, it might not be a bad spot for another water tower even. Ah, 
All right. That should be looking good. That should keep us in pretty good stead for a while. I like that highway one a lot better than this single street one. We may have to come replace this with one of those at some point. In fact, I don't think there's actually that much connected to it. It's just in a bit of a complicated area. Let me try this real quick. I'd love to be able to have this cleaner. could fit in <laughs> in that space. It's such a shame. I wish they would allow you to do it with just the circle. The piece includes the four offshoots there, which are completely unnecessary, and that's what's occupied. If it was actually just that, I think we could pull it off. But, yikes. So we may have to do this manually. In which case, I want to start it with a highway and as close to these as possible. Regular highway. Let's try... <laughs> Man, that is tricky. I probably should have saved it before even attempting this. Um... Curved, good it is. Seems to be along this line, good it is. Just not sure where exactly I need to start it. <laughs> it's like totally throwing me off. There's so many guide markers. in theory. I might need to take it back just a touch. Amity Highway is a rather appropriate name. Okay, nope. I don't want anything to do with that. I think I'm just going to need to redo these regrettably. He'll reconnect it. <laughs> it's always so nerve-wracking doing a big interrupty project like this. But we'll get there. Okay, so that is not going the right way. Let's change direction on it. I think this will help us out just a bit in the long run, because that single road, while uh, lovely, was just not high, high traffic enough. Right, let's let this come all the way out again. Go reconnect these. You'd think that should be fine. It's like, yeah, the space is already occupied, but it's already occupied by the exact thing I want you to place there. <laughs> like, it should be possible. Oh, I'm seeing that question now. So sorry for the delay. How has this week been treating me? It's been okay. We had the uh, the massive snowstorm to start things off. 
But I'm down to about a foot now with two days of meltage. I only have about a foot of snow left around me. And uh, I've been getting through work and, and had plenty of ramen to survive the blizzard, so I'm all right. How are you guys? Anyone doing anything fantastic and strange? This or any other week? All right, I think I'm just going to not not be able to get away with it uh, without redoing these, much to my chagrin. Let's try this. I would love for you to go the other way. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way I'd love for you to go. Oh! Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> it's such a shame. Sometimes it just bends the wrong way on you. This one is what we need. And this is an off-ramp, I believe. To be careful with my placement. It's all one way, so that should be fine. Jumping back to here. I guess this needs to be officially one way upgrade. There we go. And then change direction of this. Off ramps. Ooh. Oh, so many layers. Alright, so that's the industrial slip road. This one just needs to go here. Alright, so that's reconnected. That's reconnected. Back to the industrial road now. Thank you for bearing with me here. Sorry, this was such a big project, as it turns out. Here's where it gets interesting. Because I now cannot take this straight across, I'm sure. However, how far can I get away with... ...without another post? Oh, that would be so nice. If I could just get away with exactly that far, without another post. So this is fine, I may just need to probably, like, curve it inward a touch. Something like that. Alright, now I guess we can go from here, even. This might be a little bit easier. Deal. <laughs> Love for that to be a little bit cleaner. Hmm? I'll take you up on it. Yes, please. All right, change in direction. And I think we're reconnected. Oh, come on. Why would that matter? <laughs> That's so silly. It's already there. I'm just asking you to change the paint on it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Janky again. Oh, 
Oh, how I wish it wasn't. Yeah, it's like just a little bit... a little bit too far now for some reason. That's so strange. Probably a better way to do this uh, full stop, so we'll let it try. There, now you're nowhere near the university. Full stop. Okay, changing direction on that one more time. There, industrial traffic has highway access restored once again. Fix this just a bit. still so strange, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so we have like uh, triple the capacity now on this, what, what is now become a very central roundabout. It was at the very beginning of this sort of off the side and didn't need to be that big, but now it's fixed and I'm so glad. Thank you for bearing with me there. So now with all this extra industrial traffic potentially going along this new beach, beach city road, both industrial and residential traffic, eventually, that should keep us in good stead. So, we now have a... Goodness, so sorry. Let me take a sip of coffee. Okay. <laughs> I forget what I was even saying. It's hardly important. Let's unpause it, make sure traffic isn't having any issues. Our train station is still going great. If we want to, we can add a passenger station here as well. It might not be a bad idea, especially once we have our touristy beach, you know, city set up to have passenger train access for people coming from out of state or whatever. And then the other sort of weird transportation thing I still want to include. Actually, hold that thought. Hold that weird transportation thing I want to include. Let me check this. Ah, I'm having a power issue. Because I broke a commercial building. Yes. Yes, I did. All right, hold hold both of those thoughts. <sighs> Let me see if this is still zoned. Doesn't seem to be. I must have just broken a power line itself. So, let me fix it with this instead. Uh, select and... Perfect. This should get us back in business. I don't think it's causing any problem. It's just that water tower is all... Yeah, no big deal there. All right. So, <laughs> held thought number one. Our road condition here. I forget if we even had one of these in at all. I guess we don't. We must have been saving up for it. So all of our roads are currently in bad, bad, deep red condition, which is just normal. That's, that's the normal speed of roads. But if we wanted all of the traffic to go a little bit faster, I forgot we're also still paying maintenance on all of this, which we don't need. Not even close. <laughs> Just left that out of laziness. So we want this on a like a main access way. We either want it directly off this main collector road here, so that it can get right on there and start fixing stuff. That's really not a bad spot for it. In near the canal, let's go there. And then we can watch the conditions of the road here, slowly boost and see where else we might need one because it's like eventually it'll run out of room you can see here it can't even get down here so we could add another one maybe by the uh, railroad station to keep things boosted but one is plenty for now we'll just keep it in our downtown area so those little road maintenance vehicles there those orange trucks will go around and make sure that everyone is speeding along through the city 
really like that aspect, and it's also just sort of a pretty building there by the canal. I like it. I have to beautify this a bit, too. We can add trees and goodies. There's a few sections where we should probably make an effort right off the bat, in fact. Like these areas. Where cool stuff is possible. It may even be, <laughs> though it's a bit of a stretch, it may even be possible to fit in a uh, commercial shop or two there. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of grid. Let's take advantage. Anything they can fit in there, by all means. I wish there was just a little bit on this side, too. That would be awesome. There's a little here, though. That's nice. Those can even be, like, houses. <laughs> they don't have to be commercial buildings. But I'm just going to fill in some commercial zone for now. It seems to make sense along there. Okay. So, the other held thought. We uh, added a road maintenance station. The other weird transportation thing that we can look at is on this cliff here, where we now have our lake consternation uh, waterfall. Hello there, welcome. What time is it here? It's uh, 5.19, yes. Thank you, Wilted Black, I appreciate it. I am. I'm just fine. Just having a little insomnia, so I figured I'd hang out with you guys. My favorite thing to do, when I have insomnia especially. So I thought it would be kind of cool if it allows us to integrate it. I guess the question A is, will it allow us to integrate it with a nature reserve? And if it does, can we do one of these cable car stations? I don't know which one we need exactly. I'm guessing the end of line is like... You need one at, at each end, and then a cable car stop would just be if you want to have people get off at some point in the middle between two end points. So I would think we just need two of these in order to get this to work. And it does say it has to be placed roadside. That's what I was wondering about. It's like, this is a park road, or a nature reserve road, which isn't quite the same thing. But could I get away with it if I just, like, add a little access road <laughs> down here, I wonder? Or even, you know, right off of here, even. That's not a bad spot. It's kind of silly, because you could just drive up the street, and you'd be there. Like, why take a cable car? But I just think it would kind of look pretty, is all. So I'm tempted to put it there. That's a little strange, because it's so close to this road, and then it seems superfluous. If it was down here or something, away from some other roads, that's one thing. But it's really just this cliff that I would want to, like, bring it up. So, just as a as a test, let's go for it. I'm going to put it right here. I'll leave as much room as possible. So I'm not affecting the cliff. And then I think we can just take these and connect them to the back. And I just want it to be sort of lazily climbing here, wherever it makes sense. And if we can carry it up near the waterfall, that would be preferable. <laughs> but there's not a lot of ways to get straight over there without just cutting into it. It would be really nice if I could place it right here and have the cable car be going up to the station right here, like that would be the ideal spot for the station. I think I'm going to have to put the station here and just do the best we can. It still fits, at least. Alright, I'm sorry that upset you so. So, how are we going to connect these up? I don't think it needs to be that crazy, but let's make sure it hits this little peak, because I like that little peak there. So we'll take it, say, here, say, here, hmm. 
Oh, I'd love to get that just a touch more centered. <laughs> but nope. Fair enough. Okay. I can't really do, like, V shapes. I'm gonna need to curve it a little better. So again, this sort of seems uh, superfluous down here. But I actually like that a lot. I think that'll just add a bit of character to this cliff, and it takes up a bunch of the dead space of it. We can then put in maybe like some flowering bushes or some special rock formations to travel through would be kind of interesting, like some of these to move through. <laughs> Might not be bad. Getting them not to warp themselves against the cliff, strangely, is going to be interesting. But you can see we already have cars moving along it, and it just gives a little more life. So you can't really see the waterfall in the slightest from over here. But I still like it. If we want to add another cable car that, you know, goes across in front of the waterfall, across here maybe, we sure can. We have plenty of options. But that was... The main thing I wanted to test out is if it's even possible to get the connection up there, and it looks like it is. People are making use of it. So that just gives people one more excuse, if you live here, not to take a car <laughs> up there. Which is completely silly. It's uh, hardly saving them any time at all. It would be more useful to save traffic if it was stretching over a longer distance. I like doing stuff like that, though, and then, like, removing the access roads to it so the only way to get up a cliff is by cable car. I always think that's kind of cute, though it's not very wise. <laughs> it should be the name of my autobiography. All right, so we fixed a lot of problems here. In these last couple of sessions, a lot of the things I was worried about have... Just resolved themselves, no big deal. So we are needing more residential uh, areas. We're a little low on available workers. We could start putting in some stuff out here. My only concern is it's just a little bit far to travel for people out here. And I don't know if that's going to cause us some problems. I don't think it will, really. So let's try to find a couple of areas here in the beach that we can start laying out a little bit of commercial and a little bit of office barrier, and then some residential zoning. So, like, anywhere that there's actual sandy beach I want to leave available for piers, but anywhere that there's cliffs I kind of want to put residential housing in there. So let's Grab some decorative roads. We'll connect these up later. Freeform is probably fine. And I just... Anywhere that there's like a cliff here, I want to take a bit of... The shoreline. And, like, this would be a good candidate for one that moves up along this upper cliff there, and then another one, maybe, that runs down. I kind of like doing stuff like that near the beach, too, but obviously that's gonna affect the shoreline. Like, once the houses are built, it's going to get really sharply cliffy there, so I don't want it that far out. Let me try to fix it up with a curve. I just want that to be a little bit sharper here. I'm not sure how to pull that off. <laughs> Without, like, having it loop back like that. I think freeform is probably the best option.
There we go. That's about where I need it. Just to give us a couple of weird options there. So this will all be straight away. So curvy, it's like I've gotten myself in a skid. This should be fine, really. Okay, here's another nice opportunity. Oh, I made an achievement, apparently. Speed up, boost a hundred kilometers of streets with the road maintenance. Nice. I've apparently never placed one of those before <laughs> to have gotten that achievement. Okay, so I want this to be a little bit in. Let's try about here. I'm going to need to connect it to this first. Let's get a bit close on that one. Arc it around a little bit further away, even though we're getting closer to the collector road there. Gonna take it down a bit here. And I'm just gonna run this straight into itself. Right about there. Okay, so that's messed up the shoreline a little bit. I would like to clear that up so that they have access to the beach, but we'll come back to that. For now, I like that it's just all connected there. I should probably add a quick hop here. Just in case. And a quick hop here. This one will run right into itself as well. And then we should finally have something to work with. Let's just make that straight. some beach, we have some cliffs. I want to make this a tiny bit commercial here. And then we'll need power as well. I think we have water under the main roads, but let me make sure that it's under all of the side roads now. use some hydropower out here so that we don't have to run huge lines across anywhere. And hopefully we can even get it pushed back to that railroad station eventually. So let's take a look right here at a couple of commercial zones. In the corner... I'm 
I'm going to leave anything in front of that available, but let's go ahead and make a big one there. And then just a small one there. I'm going to put in an office building. Oh, I don't want it to be too big. Let's just take that one there and this one here. And we'll call this one. Alright, so that gives us a little hub to start working off of. They will need power right there, so let's get that situated. 20 megawatts out there comes down to far fewer in near the shoreline. It's also very windy along the coast. We could just put in another windmill if needed. I'm not sure what the better option would be. Hmm. Let's put one of these out here. Just get it as close as we can, and we'll run some power lines from it. Closer than anything else, at least. All right. So take us up on these. Whenever. Whenever you have a second. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of residential options, too. Start shaping this zone a bit. I think this can basically all be it. And if that's the case, let's go ahead and give them this too. Alright. So I think this is part of that problem I was... <laughs> Consider it's like it's not necessarily a mechanical problem, but just a desire issue with having to travel this far away from everything that already exists and the amenities and parks and schools and everything that's there. It's just not very desirable to build out here, and we need to change that. It will be much easier to change it once we have a little bit of building to work off of, though. So someone's finally moving in. Make sure they have a little line here. There we go. And that should start building it up right nice. Here was that other thing I was going to put in. Um, in fact, I think I can probably fix the angle of it to work a little bit better. Let's try this. If I put one, say... Right here. Now I do want it to be centered off of this thing first, so let me take the hopefully shallowest part of this. from there. There we go. So I don't want to use all of this, but I'll use like the back side of it at least. I don't want that to mess me up too much on this cliff shoreline there. And now from there we can take it straight across. That should work out well. Alright. This is coming in. So right now they have nowhere to shop. I guess one shop is being built great. They have nowhere to work, really, unless they go all the way back across to the lumber zone. So we're going to need to start building some beach options for these folks, and some luxury items for sure. But it should be doable, I think. I think if there's any of these I can take advantage of without messing up the 
shoreline too badly. I try to put just a couple of small houses in here. I wonder if even just like one squares would do too much damage along here. Pardon me. Him. All right. So they do have some shops. It'll be interesting to see how the traffic starts reacting. I probably have some signals in there I need to get rid of. Let's go ahead and fill out one of these. I think that can basically all be residential there. We'll leave a huge gap. Some residential here. This is going to be another sort of hub spot. If that's the case, we should add another office barrier. Let's put this one here. Alright, then we can build past it with these. Okay, that's coming together. I'm going to need electricity for my increasingly erratic uh, placement. That's a shame. Oh, what a shame that is. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just throw in another one of these if it's not too expensive. 12,000 should be fine. Hopefully we can get rid of those soon. Not very pretty in our only ocean bay to cover it in wires, but we'll get there. Alright, making sure the forest of nonsense isn't actively on fire. Quick check. How are we doing on cemetery access? That one's almost full. This one's starting to get there. Only has 120. This one is 765, so yeah. We're getting there. Hopefully this next push, this residential zoning in Beach City, or whatever we're going to call it, will hopefully get us up near that 17,000 mark, where we unlock the uh, crematorium. So that will really, really help us out. So they have power here, that's great. I guess I can start expanding on that just a bit. Because they seem to be taking me up on almost all of my residential slots, but not any of the office. We don't have any job need, really. That's another spot that's going to need power. It's starting to come in here. Good, good. This is all connected up on the mainland. Hopefully we can get rid of those. Alright, so there's really not much I can do until they take me up on all of these residential spots. Let's have that and that. Alright, 
That looks good. Need to be roadside. Let me come back to that. I might need to readjust that road just a little. It's too high coming off of the <laughs> main part there. I need it to slope down a little bit quicker there. And they're not taking me up on any of that. All right. Well, it's up to you. I guess this is... Uh, only this square is roadside. Hilariously. So these are just useless. But that's fine. Okay, a little bit more commercial in here. Another sort of shopping hub, if you will. We'll give that one the full range of it while it can. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's put this one here. And one here. Okay. We'll keep filling that in as we can. take up most of our residential blocks here. I'm not sure why they're not taking these. That doesn't really make sense. Let's just give them a whole swath of them. It'll all be nice residential. They're taking us up on it. How about one right here, though? Mmm. Mmm, yeah. How about one right here? That's a good spot. That looks nice. Good. There. <laughs> we finally did. Okay, so I don't have to worry about power. I just got distracted watching it here. <laughs> it's so nice sometimes just to watch the construction happen. And I was also catching up to the chat. I do regrettably have, uh, have work in, oh, two hours now. <laughs> I've been up since 2.15. I went to bed around 10, 11. So this is going to be an interesting day. I do have a little bit of coffee. Some old coffee from yesterday that's getting me by. It's funny how jarringly larger those office buildings can be sometimes. Sometimes they're not that bad. But I guess those are apartments, aren't they? I guess what I mean to say is it's jarring how much larger single apartments can be sometimes. <laughs> I thought it was an office. I don't think they've really taken us up on any of our office slots yet. There's just no need for that. Or no demand for it. 
Aha, this is coming in good. Let's get some power out here. Run it down along the cliff, I guess. I would love to connect this whole line up. That would be great. But, a couple of new shopping centers in there. That should keep them happy for a bit. We're climbing up towards 11,000. Even with all those new apartment buildings, it's, oh, so slow going up to 1,700. Or 17,000, rather. It's one of those things that the more you focus on it, the more you're like, oh, I can't wait to get to 17,000. You're never going to get there. But as soon as you get distracted, you know, placing trees, oh, I'm, I'm at the next milestone. Wow. <laughs> Every time. I'm not sure why that's so low there. I wish I could just even this out all the way across. But it's fine. So, I have enough money now. The big concern out here is obviously going to be fire. What with all these trees? Let's make sure we have a good fire station. Preferably just off the collector road, so let's make a little loop through here. Yeah, let's say that's a good block, and then... Straight from here. Or as straight as you'll allow, sure. Won't you allow you to be entirely straight? Let me see if I can fix it with a free form. Not bad. All right. Let's do the same thing out here ish. And out here ish. Sure. It's a little bit silly, but we'll deal with it. All right, now we have some roads to work off of for emergency services. Let's put this right here. Hurrah. Let's put a police station on the other side. And these will also be helping... Uh, bring the power towards each other. Little do they know, they are working to bring the power towards one another. And then we also need, like, educational services. I haven't put in any prisons yet. I'm not sure what our police HQ uh, capacity is at. There's, like, a little jail space in the HQ itself. So we have a fire station, we have a police station. That should be fine for now. Let's check health care. We're going to need a hospital out on this side of things. Let's put that maybe over here. So if I had one block of road... Just one block. Would that be enough? Perfect. <laughs> I don't really want to mess up that whole cliff. If I place the hospital there, it's going to make a really jarring corner pop up at me. But let's try it. It's not terrible, really. So, okay. I'll, I'll deal with it. We do need the uh, hospital. It, it would probably be better if the hospital was a little more centrally located rather than right on the border there. But I'm hoping that we'll expand along the coast that way, is the idea. Because we probably want to expand that way for the farmland, so... I won't worry about it for now, we'll keep the hospital there. That should be fine, let's make sure it has... Power? Hmm... Not a real good way to run across there. Wow. 
once again. We'll fix that up soon. And then education is going to be another concern. I guess we'll also need a cemetery out here. Cemetery. Don't really want that near the beach. Let's take it back into the woods. To grandmother's house, perhaps. Do a little freeform action here. Actually, I just want this to be a curve. I don't want it to be a freeform. Let's just do this. And another. There. All right. Hopefully that'll still have power from the commercial zone. Hospital has water, hospital has power, good, good. Alright, unpausing it again. Power is flowing. And... Hospital is online. Perfect. Okay. So... We have a cemetery, we have a hospital. Let's put in elementary school. I need a good spot for this. It may be that this could be a sort of educational district. Let's take a quick slip road off it. Down the middle. going to give them a through path here. Great. Let's go ahead and extend that along the back side of this as well. possible. I probably just need to adjust it a touch. Yes, there we go. Alright, that looks great. Maybe back through here. Ah, I can't re because of the road. Let's see how much closer I can get to it. One second. It might not be quite connected to the sidewalk, though. Let me try from all the way back here. Just in case. Yeah, it's like I'd need just a touch more. If it was over to the right, A square, it would be fine. Hmm. Oh well, that's fine. That just means we need to do this. Which is no big deal. Freeform. <laughs> it doesn't look perfectly ideal, but we'll throw in a bush. It'll be fine. Ah, it looks great. <laughs> Alright, so we have a little pedestrian path there for our hopefully educational district. Let's make sure we have all of the amenities. The biggest one is probably going to be the university. So let's make sure that's in. Ah, it's just too wide for that. Let's try over here. Mmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's exactly that one square. 
So it's like I could put the university on the collector road. It, it doesn't create that much traffic. It's not that big a deal. I should probably just do that. Put it there, in fact. Alright, so how about a high school? Where would that make sense? Man, it's like every... Every building is just exactly one square too wide. <laughs> like that. Would have so many nice opportunities here, if not for that. No big deal, though. Alright, elementary school there. Let's put the high school right across from it. Let's jump back to health here and try a community pool. Put it behind the high school. There's also this sports hall and gymnasium, which is rather nice. Let's put that in with the high school as well. So we have sort of a whole complex here. We got the high school, gymnasium, community pool, all in one little go. Elementary school is good there. Yoga garden. I don't know what that actually does. Visitor capacity 90. It gives a health benefit to the area around the building. Okay, great. That sounds lovely. Ah, my six alarm. My six o'clock alarm is going off. That's funny. Okay, so those are health items. They're not really necessary, but they just sort of fit in well with that high school, in my opinion. So we still don't have a public library. If there's room for that here, great. Seems to be plenty. So we have a library, we have a university, we have a police station, a fire station, elementary school, high school, gymnasium, community pool. Oh, it's coming along. This is probably too big for most of these. Can maybe fit it in over here. But I don't really need to go into specialty schools, necessarily. Those are the main three I needed. So that's really helpful. That gives Beach City a little uh, credence in the scholar community. We should probably consider some elder care and child care out on this neck of the woods. I wonder how much that's going to mess up the cliff. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad even to have like an elder care and child care facility flanking either side of the hospital here. I think we'll be okay health-wise with just what we have for now. Okay, I am now seeing that I'm way, way in the hole. I've expanded crazily and put in all these new services. Oh boy, have I put in new services. And I need some more, uh, not only residences, but also industrial expansion in order to catch up. That is uh, a bit of a shame. I probably shouldn't have gone that, that crazy with it. <laughs> Let me check briefly if I'm doing something weird with the budget. Maybe adding to this. I know we're at increased fire capacity, quite intentionally so. That's the problem. It's 15,000. Either of those. I'm just going to take these back down for now until we even it out, because I don't want us to go negative. Everything else is fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's see if this evens it out just a bit. Before we go fully into the hole, and then I should also, while we have any time available, I should add some more industrial zoning, but they just don't need any jobs. The problem is the offices are taking what would be... Ah, excuse me. Knocked my headset there. The offices are taking what will be forestry demand. It's like, no, we have jobs at the offices, that's fine. But the offices don't necessarily contribute to your economy. They give people something to do, but I don't know if there's any goods that can be exported from an office. 
It must still make you money, or they wouldn't count as industrial zones. So, I think I'm just worrying needlessly, but... It would be nice to have a little bit more industrial, in case that's the problem, but I also just need more residential... More residences, uh, more people paying taxes, is a big part of the issue. So, since we have all these amenities right here, this is going to be really, really desirable property. Let's go ahead and keep filling in some, uh... Residential zoning along here. I just don't know where I still need to leave some room for expansion in the future is the big problem. I think I can go ahead and give them all of this. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about any of these. Just zone it up. Alright, good. They're immediately taking advantage of that. That should connect our power up over here, too, so we can delete some of these lines. We won't need quite as many. I kind of want to leave this open, but let me close off... ...this... those. We'll come along the back side here, though. This should be fine. Alright, that should actually connect our power if they take us up on it. Already on top of the fire there. Okay, what about back here as well? Start taking advantage of our lower level a bit. This was that road I was going to redo, but now we're building on it. Never mind, it's fine. Never mind, it's fine. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Let's do back here a little... Okay, evening out. We're still going down, like negative 2,000, but headed back the right way. When some of these folks move in, we should get a better result. I need to pay better attention to that. I go on a tangent when I'm like, oh, we have a million dollars. I'm going to spend the million on hospitals. And it's like, every dollar you spend comes with maintenance cost. Unless it's something that's taking care of itself, like a residential, you know, single-family home. Anything like a hospital or a school has ongoing budgetary concerns. So I need to be much more careful with that. This is filling in quite nicely. I like our little coastal section here. It's looking clean and lovely. Offices export only sadness. <laughs> it's probably true. cemetery near Grandma's house is just convenient and efficient. Oh, yes. I guess that is where we could put the elder care facility. That's a little rude, but we could just put it right there. Just like... Yep. We know where you need to go. Oh. Just step across the street. You're good. <laughs> I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can pass up the opportunity. Let's do it. We'll put our child care facility here, and while we're at it, since we're spending uh, copious amounts of money, one more elementary school across from the child care facility. That'll make sense. Oh, 
All right, so we can still make use of uh, the other side of these roads if we want to add more residential zoning out here. We can do more along the coast. We should have plenty of options, but I think this will get us going for now. I'm going to try to connect this along as well. I think that's the only spot we still don't have power yet. It should be connected through there so I can get this. Leave that for now. And this one can go. Alright, so let's try to connect these up. Maybe with just a little bit of commercial here. Probably do it. Okay, good. So there'll be a couple of shops across from the university, a couple of places for the policeman to grab a sandwich. Just now seeing that mountain range there out across the uh, bay. That's lovely. Seem to be about the, uh, the tallest mountains around, to save for those. That looks a little taller out there. I love this straightaway here. This has a great look to it. Something so satisfying about those long, endless roads that stretch out to nowhere. Okay, they're finally taking advantage of some of these. Our money is still headed the right way as more people slowly move in. And we're not getting too many concerns. I know there's some job issues or abandonment issues out here. I'm not sure what that's about exactly. <laughs> it does look really cool along the canal. I'm wondering, though, if I should just switch them off to be residential apartment buildings instead. Because there doesn't seem to be a big need for commercial right there as evidenced by the fact that they're having trouble. So let's just put this in. We need as many residences as we can. Not those, though. Not necessarily those. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that. a little loud down there, but we'll deal with it. We never did really fix this road. I know it's like a four-lane going into a two-lane. That's not ideal for sure. Let me remove this one so we have that wiggle room if need be. I can't remember if it was just a matter of distance or what the issue was. Let's try to mess with it. This may be unwise. This time I am going to save it first. Just in case. It's really hard to delete just that road. There we are. So yeah, we can't do it because it's already occupied. What if I remove these? So it's just that canal it's having trouble with for some reason. But I'm not sure why. Because it's like if you can go here, what's the problem? <laughs> That's weird. Just 
So let me just try this. Instead of having it be a bridge. 1520. I guess it has to be a bridge, regardless. There. Still not necessarily ideal, but now it's not changing into a uh, one-way. Now the problem is it's not connected to this. That was the concern. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> maybe it's the most hideous bridge ever built. Or maybe it's just fine. Jeez. I am not sure on that. I don't think the elevation is going to play very well with it. Actually, I might prefer to just leave it as a two-lane, if that's my only option. But I'm not sure why it's being so strange down here. So it's like, that's an option. It's not a very good one. I don't know why it's raising it so much there, is the, the weird thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so that's the problem I'm having. There must be some correct way to sync all that up. But I just put the canal in so close to this road, and it needs to curve across somehow. And it's making it tricky. need this part. Is that going to do the same raise? Yeah, it always raises on this end. I don't know what the purpose of that is exactly. Like, maybe if I terraformed it a little bit up or down on a side, would it have any make any difference at all? No idea. But, place this. And... I guess my best option is just to take it back down to a two-lane for now. I'm not sure what else to do here. This is such a weird one. At least they have a bridge. It's not ideal, but it's uh, it's about the best we can do for now. We'll continue to give that some thought. I'm sure there's a way to fix it up eventually. We might just need to break a couple buildings to pull it off. But no big deal. I think we've done just about enough for today here. Thank you for all of your patience in coming along with me on a strangely uh, scheduled stream. <laughs> Just checking for intersections here. Should be okay. There we go. All right. How's this running out here? We're down to negative 1.6. That's not so bad. We still have enough wiggle room to work with it. I think they've built up most everything out here. I guess not quite. But they're getting there. Those aren't going to be useful, regrettably. This one's probably useful. That one's probably useful. And... I 
guess let's fill this in. There we go. So, we uh, officially have our railroad connection now. Next session I'll try to add a passenger station to this that can serve as Beach City as well. That will be great. We should have our road network pretty well done, but we can start cutting across here and adding some more, maybe like 8x8 eight eight zones or something. Let me see. I'm probably off on my math here for that. So if we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... We'll go to there... Is that right? No, one more. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's it. So we could put in like a whole bunch of squares like this. That's about the smallest you can make a little high density residential block with four. Four squares of four squares, exactly. Like that. So we could start filling out a whole bunch of this with super efficient residential until we get up to that 17,000 mark and start adding crematoriums, etc. That might not be a, a bad idea. But I'll leave it dezoned for now. I'll just leave that square to remember. I think we should be able to fit two of those in, right? Yeah. Effectively, it may be one square larger on this side, but that's fine. It doesn't have to be exact, either. So, we'll try to add a passenger station, we'll try to keep building this up towards 17,000, get some crematoriums in, and make sure everyone else is still happy with us. We also don't really have any luxury amenities out here yet, no parks or anything. We'll try to get them some happiness. In fact, before we leave, I should probably throw in a carousel at the very least. They're desperate. They're desperate for a carousel out here. Let's try uh, right here. There you go. See if that helps a bit over time. Oh, yes. All right, thank you so very much for your time this morning. It has been lovely hanging out with you insomniacs. And I look forward to the very next time. We'll see you soon, passenger railway station. Oh man, look at all that traffic. Goodness. A lot of people having to get around. It may be worthwhile uh, considering that amount of traffic. Oh, look, we're, we're down to negative 700 now. That's a huge improvement. Considering all that traffic, it might be uh, behoove us to put in a metro station, like an underground metro, um, from this development into this development, like from city center to city center, basically. We can even have three stops at each side of this. Ah, darn it, I've made a boo-boo again. Must have broken one of the buildings there. Is that still connected? Yeah, I don't think this is necessary at all. It's running through the cemeteries and the junkyard of dreams there. Not a problem. All right. <laughs> Thank you again. So we're still waiting... Oh, I guess this does make noise, doesn't it? They're all saying, we're sick of the noise. I didn't consider that when I put in the cable car station right next to the houses here. Yeah, it does create quite a bit, so we might want to move that. That's a little bit silly. It should be going into a commercial zone more accurately. Oh well. We'll jump back to that as well. <laughs> Another thing for next time. Thank you again for your time. And I will uh, hopefully see you very soon here, back in Menzo Berenzan. Look at all that progress we made. That is fantastic. I am looking forward to keeping 
this go in with you guys. Thanks again, and I will see you back here next time. Bye for now.